I've grown up in Columbus, Ohio, in the shadows of Ohio Stadium my entire life. <clears throat> and I can remember back when I was 10 years old, and I had a Little League football coach, John Hicks, who was a former Outland Trophy winner here at Ohio State. And he took me to my first ever Ohio State-Michigan game. And then eight years later, to be afforded the opportunity by, by Coach John Cooper to actually wear the scarlet and gray. It's been these experiences at OSU that have been entrenched <clears throat> in the very fabric of who I am today. Let me be clear to you guys. The 2011 Buckeyes will not be about comparing and contrasting what we've done before, but what, what we believe we will need to do to move forward. Ohio State is so much bigger than any one team, one player, one coach, or one situation. We all understand that change is inevitable. It's growth that is optional. And we believe this is a time for growth for all of us. You know, I can honestly say that um, where I wasn't going to say that I had blinders on, but very focused on the task at hand, and I was not informed of any information until it became public knowledge. Yeah, it's a tough situation, but I, to I told you before that if they told you you had one shot, and if you know me, there's no retreat. There's never been any challenges that I wouldn't accept, big or small. You know, and I've had this dream and this plan, and I'm excited for it. It happened fast. Mr. Smith asked me to step in. I didn't have a whole lot of time to step back and think about the situation. We knew we had to hit the ground running. We had to team together that night. So all we wanted to do was make sure we could stand up tall, show some support, show some leadership, and most importantly, focus on our kids because we know how they would feel to make sure that they were okay.